is right We can talk about anything you like uh, Just listen Take a walk right over to my kitchen Oh joining us for yet another episode. I'm your girl, Anika. I'm Les. And it's Nay Nay. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, it's good, right? What a fabulous way to start your Monday. Today, we have in studio Kyle Walking, a journalist. But before we even get into that conversation, there's been an expose of some sorts in the headlines. Today, take it away. I see some news about Fitzgerald. I can't even call his name right. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> I, no, being it, exposed. This is, I can't take him I seriously. I mean, for me, this is like Fitzgerald. not corruption. This, I mean, this is everything at its finest, right? Mm -hmm. This is just news that you wouldn't want to hear yeah. in you know, and a politician, especially all the things that Marathon went through, they try to connect the two. But I mean, emails got leaked. Um, actually, China construction company server got hacked by wow. someone in San Francisco and emails got leaked. One of them is or what was leaked was Fitzgerald's emails to Sarkis and um, a few others. And I just think this is crazy. I mean, come on, you know, and I just would hate to see that he bounced back from this. These are the type of things you'll see in the States and that ends this person's career. Right, right. But now, you know, going into silly season, it's going to be interesting to see if yeah, but you what know happens? what's sad, though? If that's what's been exposed, can you imagine the things that we are not even aware of? Like, yeah. it, it just so happens that someone, you know, hacked their server and we, you know, got to see these emails. But what's really going on with the stuff that we don't even know about? And, you know, really corruption at its finest, and it's very unfortunate. But I'm happy we at least yeah. know. Yeah. And, yeah, to make things worse, the Bahamar deal is still sealed. Um, wow. It was exposed that what the Chapter 11 uh, f by bankruptcy filing would have done is really expose the different creditors and mm -hmm. everything that was going mm -hmm. on with the Bahamar situation. But because that was reneged and or, you know, the government kind of stopped it in its tracks, it went into the provisional liquidation and all that other good jazz. Mm -hmm. But regardless, the current deal of Bahamar is completely sealed under wow. the Supreme Court. So. We don't even know what's under there and what was the underlying motivation as to why they had right. to stop. The Meanwhile, allegedly Fitzgerald asking for money to help with his dad, something to do with his limousine company or the yeah, limousine he wanted company to get, that and his th family This is owns. another thing, right? You know, we're here working our butt <laughs> off, busting our Paying hair. Paying VAT. We had a VAT money. And these Still. guys all want to just secure these big contracts. And take it away from, yeah. you know, the people that are actually, you know, hustling and trying yeah, to do the best. Scary. And you know what was so ironic to me about the entire situation is that this story leaked on the exact same day as nomination day, which <laughs> happened last week. Mm. Right. So nomination day. And speaking of ladies, I'm sure you if you didn't see it, you definitely heard it because there was no part of this island that you could drive around on that particular day and not hear boom, boom, boom. The block party. You know, for mm. all of the block parties, all of the motorcades. I mean, starting as early as 9 o'clock that morning, I remember hearing motorcades on the streets. And it was yellow, it was red. I mean, and, and rallies that night. I was just like, y'all just take in nomination day to a whole other yeah. Politics is a joke in this country. I'm very, yes. it's so sad. And I wish it would just be over. And the sad thing about it is it's never over. Even mm -hmm. after elections, you have to put up with the same garbage yeah. day in yeah. and day out. And I just wish it would go away, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, Well, May, ten May 10th is right around the corner. And we cannot wait, <laughs> honestly. It couldn't yeah. come fast but, enough. But, you know, I'm just, I'm very scared for our country <laughs> and what we can do. So, again, we just you know want to implore that you just you know make the right decisions yeah make an informed decision make informed decisions For get sure. as much information as possible and yeah. i mean yes as fun as these rallies are people I mean, listen to the ones that sound a little boring because they might be sounding, they might be saying something, <laughs> something yeah. that might be beneficial yeah. to you. <laughs> All exactly. right, I know they sound boring. But. I want to <laughs> shift gears completely. I'm sick and tired of silly season. I've been trolling on Instagram a little bit. And, you know, sometimes you're scrolling through and you pop up on your Explore page and, you know, it has all the pretty pictures, all mm -hmm. the girls and mm -hmm. da, da, da. And 
there are some Instagram accounts that are more popular than others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it led me to to, to kind of ask the question, are some of these girls doing this for fame or if they set in thirst traps? And I tired of seeing y'all bongi out on Instagram with a scripture attached to it. <laughs> That's a thirst trap. Thirst trap. We My see goodness. right through it, honey. I <laughs> like it. I need you to stop pairing the word of God with your booty. <laughs> All right? So ladies, like, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It's such a fine line. It um, is. It oh, I, it, yeah. You know, because, yeah, I, I, you look, in that selfie, you look amazing, girl. <laughs> like, this is like you. Mm -hmm. But then why is it, why is it something inspirational and profound? With your cleavage out. And a selfie. Yeah. I, yeah. I just don't get, you know, like. No, it's uh, our thoughts. It's it, our thoughts. Oh, it's, oh. So she, she's like, this is me today, and I have thoughts. From today. But you know what, oh. y'all? I honestly see think, now. I get it. <laughs> I really think, though, um, and mind you, it might have been someone else. But ever since Kim Kardashian became as famous as she is, straight up through media, and then with the advent of social media taking off the way that it did, and her fame, I think all of this kind of plays in. Like she kind of showed an entire generation, hey, you could be famous mm. for being beautiful and showing all your lady bits and everything that God gave you so why not okay so it's Cameras a little bit of both. on your phone just do just it honey do it. Do okay. It. okay so it's fame and thirst because i mean yeah. i yeah oh. i mean Trust everyone me. has a little bit of thirst i think on their <laughs> social medias um, and you know, n but there's no shame. What kind in of thirst? A though? little bit of thirst. Is everybody? But just don't take it too far. Like you could have a thirst every like line on Instagram. So it's thirsty for attention. That's what I'm saying. What kind oh. of thirst? Yeah, because yeah, thirst can mean a couple of things. Fall. Like if you Tell a me. thirst trap, you got your bungee out because you want dudes to hit you up. Ooh. So mm. like, yeah, no, right. No, you no, want no, that no, attention. No, yeah, it depends on where you are in life. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then you could be thirsty for attention. Like you got your bungee out because you want likes. Mm. So right, it all depends. I I, I just it. put it away. Put your what about what about paying for followers? Oh no! Why paying for followers? Why you know that is closely attributed to actually mental disorders because people are that eager and hungry for mm. attention that they will pay for it. Yeah. Mental that is, I'm very serious or yeah, some definitely some childhood void yeah. that they need to fill. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> daddy wasn't there. It just wasn't. You guys are Speaking so about people. daddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to actually talk to you, Les. Okay. You, would, talk to me. <laughs> I want to talk to you, Les. Okay. Let me turn around for this one. It seems deep. Yes, yes. hunty. Let's do this. Tell what? me. What's going on? Do you call your significant other Daddy, <laughs> would you call them Daddy? Um, I think I'm. To be honest, I might have once in my lifetime, Ooh. but it felt awkward. It felt, felt uh, really. Yes, <laughs> no. it felt weird as hell. <laughs> and again, it's not something that I'm going to knock because, like I always say, do what works for you. Do you boo? But for me, it felt inc incredibly strange, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> no. You I, were thinking about it too I don't deep. Think I'm gonna do it's that. supposed to be no, sexy. No, it was. It was in the moment, mind you. But Anika. then afterward, I was just like. But you ain't nothing like my dad, yo. No, this you take no. See, you taking too much, Les. You taking too much. It's it just crazy. It's just so you call. Take you call. Well, you mm. know. Okay, so daddy is the usual. Okay, for me, and then you can just remix it and just be like zaddy. Like zaddy really? is a thing. Oh. Like if you if if daddy freaks you out, be like hey zaddy. Like that's a thing. Okay, oh. so it's the D D Y okay. that really is the so sexy what about part you? of it. So you could be like, ba -ba What about you, Miss Married what? Lady? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say the D D Y? But bad is the D D Y is like what's batty? the sexy part about it? Oh. Like Are you saying daddy, batty, cratty, batty, laddie? Cratty? So now y'all getting into some deeper, darker yeah. territory waters. She's yeah. married, I'm just, to, I'm just trying to figure out. Like, She's what, married. Just, like, secretly you yeah. and your hubbies no, talk. No, 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 no. <laughs> Something's <laughs> working. I, I completely... I, I, She's oh, married. Because I had such a very close relationship with my father. Right, it's something you won't I do. could never go into this territory. That's what I'm saying. It was weird. Uh, no. It feels weird. I'll I just, go, like, papa or big, big... Boy, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. But there's no. But daddy. like I said, if if someone else wants to do with them, by all means, hey. No, I mean definitely. Pet names are the thing. So my pet name is Baby. Like I'll stick with yeah. Baby, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll do no daddy. Daddy. <laughs> any other kind of pet no. name or term of endearment. So I'm the only but... freak sitting here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Moving right along on the same topic. You're the only of one really... with no daddy issues. With no daddy. <laughs> well, 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 Moving kissing. right along. Let's talk about kissing. Yeah. Yeah. Kissing on the first.
first date. Mm -hmm. That's something that no, nope. yeah, nope. I need to check if you got warts. I need to make sure you don't have no herpes. <laughs> well, you can see Where that. Where no, no, no. Did Where you not kiss it? Well, you're not a part true. of the That's other true. episode of the stew that we just recorded yeah, no, with Dr. You're right. Rosie. You're right. You're right. But and he could be wow. clear in the face yeah. and got warts everywhere else. So Ooh. before I kiss anybody on any date, I need to have a, a little background you, research on somebody. On the lips. Oh. Oh, good God, Janae. What, <laughs> what, what are, are you thinking? No, I, I did say it kind of so If you even... Anyway. I, well, here's my take on it, right? I think, honestly, if I feel a deeper enough connection with somebody, I might be um, inclined to, to have a kiss, a, a peck on the lips or something. I ain't trying to do nothing much more than that. And what if he's like, because it's your tongue too is suggestive. He can't push away! Uh, but it ain't like that. Because, again, if oh we God. have a connection that could even bring us to this point, then have it, like the possibilities are endless yeah, for yeah. how much more we can connect. So I'm curious. I want to see and take that a little bit further, but in time. Mm. So, you know yeah, funny a little pack for now is okay. Have you ever been like, I, and I see this a lot, like if you've <laughs> been to face. a party <laughs> and everybody's like completely drunk and then you see people in the corner like, like oh, they didn't know each out. other and then they're yeah, like literally no, and no, you that's... always regret it the next day <laughs> stop kissing these man you don't know girl make yeah, sure you no. got no watch on his I butt know. i that's... mean just mm. lay up <laughs> no. you lay know, down on the tequila shots listen, you know you know he yeah. can have warts on his back hug him you need to hug him so and rub your hand up and down i've hugged fellas before and Ooh. felt a bump and i was like i don't know what that bump about so but that could be sand flies. Come on. Sand flies that big? Mosquito sand bite. Sand flies that big? That I don't ain't know. no mosquito bite. Anyway, so once you've gone on this date with this fellow ladies and you're now in a full-blown relationship, I have to ask you, what's worse? Emotional cheating, should he cheat or you cheat, or physical cheating? Emotional cheating has always been a worse factor for me, yeah? personally. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because to me, emotional an emotional connection with someone, because again, I'm all about that bonding, that connectivity, that is your heart, that's your soul in a way. And a physical affair is something that could potentially have been just one bad decision one time in one bad instance, but an emotional attachment to someone is something that is prolonged usually. Mm -hmm. It's actually built up. You're connecting with someone on a whole other level. And to me, once you've given your heart away to someone, there ain't really much yeah. of us yeah. anymore. I agree completely yeah. um, about you know the whole anything physical. Sometimes someone's looking to fill a void or to just have an experience. Exactly. But if you thinking about somebody all day, every day, exactly. over somebody else, if you thinking about exactly. bringing them lunch and sending them flowers and doing nice exactly. things for them more than the other person that is yeah. definitely I was I was detrimental. reading an article uh, on this and it was um, it reminded me of a personal situation that I know of mm -hmm. where you know the it was a work relationship where they see each other most times at eight hours out of the day they go to lunch together right. they bring each other breakfast they you know these type of things that really know. connect mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. and like the same thing, the mm. the wife had to call it quits because mm. when you have that emotional relationship yeah. and you see that person more. It's, and oddly enough mm. though, I think it's different for men because for us as females, <laughs> we, um, I guess, are looked at as being their property. So for them, it's if we physically cheat, that's more unforgivable to them. But anyway, it's a discussion and a debate that can go through the entire ages of time. <laughs> we absolutely have run out of time and we have to take a quick break right now but on the other side of that break don't go anywhere because we've got our man crush monday in studio with us we'll see you after this <laughs> the stew and thanks for tuning in it's time for our man crush monday now when you want to be informed about what's happening in and around the country all you have to do every weekday evening is turn on your television set to this gentleman he is television news anchor for our news tv kyle walking please welcome him 
Hi. It's Kyle, it's Kyle, it's Kyle. Yeah. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Good to have Hello. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And you were so dapper in this suit. Ah, I try, you know. I try. Love it, I try love to keep it. it clean a bit, you know? Yeah, it's bringing a bit of that television news anchor to our <sighs> set. We love it. So yes, you have done both print journalism uh -huh. and television and television journalism. What's like one of the major differences between the two? You see, the thing with there's a huge difference with news with, with writing for newspaper. It's easy to write. For, it's easy to write for newspaper. But when you get to television. It's a bit complicated because getting interviews from people like politicians, they're a bit more apprehensive to talk to you if they see a big camera in their yeah, face. And I'm like, you can imagine. <laughs> and someone like myself, I just roll up on you, hey, I need to find this out or whatever. But yeah. uh, newspaper, you just have this recorder and they're, they're fine, they, they'll talk to you. But I, I prefer to do broadcast. I love broadcast. Yeah. Have you found though that the uh, politicians have been a little bit more anxious to speak on camera or you know deliver news simply because it's silly season right now? A up politician now? is never anxious really? to deliver <laughs> news on camera. I thought they'd be wanting to no, you no, know, no. get their agenda out there. And especially if it's a controversial topic, we have to pull teeth just to get an answer out of them. But it depends. If it's a good story, they're going to get man. They, they align up to talk to you. But if it's mm -hmm. if it's something very controversial, like what we've seen over the past few weeks, you know, it's silly season. Yeah. Can you share any stories with us of times you've run into a politician and things didn't go as planned? <laughs> many, many times, man. I, there was one incident last year when I was waiting outside the House of Assembly to interview the Prime Minister. Obviously, he didn't want to talk to us, but. In journalism, you have to try and get your response. Yeah, you gotta push. Even if they tell you no, get, yeah. get them telling you no on camera. Right. So as he was coming out, he had he had his police officers around there, and so I was just standing outside waiting for him. So I had my camera and I said, whatever's happening, just roll. Don't stop recording. Uh -huh. And the prime minister came out, and the police officer literally knocked me down on the ground. <laughs> oh wow! So little, you didn't even get me, that close. Little old me, I was just like, hey, Mr. Prime Minister, little old innocent me, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh. Came. Boom, I was on. <laughs> Stop Kyle, I've been um, to COB with you, well, well formerly COB. Now the University of the Bahamas. Now the University of the Bahamas. <laughs> and I remember us, you know, doing activities around campus. So it's absolutely incredible to see the growth and to see you reach this you point well. in your career. Well, thanks, thanks. Look at you, you made it, man. Yeah, so um, for, you know, students who are studying journalism, because I love the journalism curriculum um, yeah. in COB while we were there, but I'm pretty sure it's changed quite a bit. But for students who, um, are in the curriculum now and looking for great options and not just working for the tra other traditional means of media. Yeah. Um, what kind of advice do you give those students? I say follow your heart, follow your passion. It sounds very cliche, but you follow your passion. I wake up every day loving what I do. I have no issue getting up and going to work. Mm -hmm. if I'm, nice. I went to work with the flu. I went to work with the cold. I went to work on crutches because I love what I do. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Follow, yeah, follow your passion, man. Um, you don't have to be a news reporter. Social media has opened I a lot that. of doors. And exactly. For so that's people. what I want to talk about because when I studied, or when we were studying journalism in COB, everyone said, "Are you going to work for Zedness?" And I was like, "God no." no. <laughs> and I so, said the same thing. yeah, I, it's I like didn't seriously, want to be a like, I, I hated it. I yeah. said, "I'm not going to be a journalist." Seriously, but, yeah. And, yeah. and I hate hard yeah. news, but I think that I like you know writing for editorial. So mm -hmm. expose us a little bit more to what are some of the other options in the industry that mm -hmm. young people can look forward to. And there's a lot out there for young people to do. You have Instagram. You have YouTube. The world is your audience. Mm, you can yeah. do so much online. And mm. I think people just need to find their avenue, find what they love to do. You have women doing beauty blogs, mm -hmm. fitness blogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have, it's all a part of journalism. It's all a part of journalism. Yeah. But you have to be responsible. Does WhatsApp yeah. News drive you nuts? That's gone viral, right? Man. How is what does WhatsApp <laughs> News mean to a reputable journalist? It's it's, <laughs> it's our worst nightmare to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Because you have it's 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 basically this. It's people playing on the I don't want to say this, but the emotions, stupidity, yeah. the emotions and stupidity yeah. of others. Sensationalizing others. Yeah. You have a lot of inaccurate information, and especially in the Bahamas, we like to believe the worst news possible. Mm -hmm. So if one person dies, you'll say, oh, I see six bodies on the floor, <laughs> right, blah, blah, right. blah. And even when you try to dispel something that's, you try to say, hey, this isn't true. Well, you ain't telling us the whole truth anyway. You work for the news. Y'all ain't gonna tell us everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of WhatsApp news and hard news, yeah. recently we had some news that came out regarding Jerome Fitzgerald. Right. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, and the plot thickens. Yeah. Now, that was a case of some information being leaked and uh. um, I guess some true hardcore investigative journalism mm. taking place with that one. Like, what are your 
your thoughts in terms of how hard or easy is it to actually do investigative journalism here? Because we tend to say it's a bit of a difference. Like we report news right. in the Bahamas, but we don't investigate deeply. It's hard and easy at the same time. It's hard because Nassau is very, very small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's easy because sometimes things just fall into your lap. Yeah. And you don't have like to go. Like that. Yeah. But you, have to, you also have to learn to be responsible because just because something sounds juicy doesn't mean it is true. You will mm -hmm. have people come to you with, a lot of times with inaccurate information. So you have to decide mm. which is the truth, which is false. Because you as the journalist, you cannot put your opinion in anything. Right. You just have to report the facts Ugh. and let people make up their mind for themselves. God, yeah. you got me riled up. Yeah. Um, on the <laughs> same topic of the role of a journalist and the integrity that you should use to operate. Like for instance, we had a blog here locally uh -huh. that had a very malicious blog post that went viral. I can't remember if it was this year or of, last year. Such yeah. idiots, right? Yeah. And so my positioning is that a, a journalist should act with dignity and integrity when delivering stories. But can you speak a little bit more about the response Responsibilities of a journalist. What are or what are the you know the things that a journalist should keep in mind when delivering news, and whether that's hard news, whether that's blogging, whether that's blogging, what does that look like exactly? As rough as this sounds, a journalist shapes public opinion. Yeah, and it's yeah, you I know it's You true. have to learn to be responsible. Mm -hmm. I work for the National Guardian, mm -hmm. Cable Twelve. Mm -hmm. People look to us for the, I wouldn't say the. Not the alternative to ZNS, mm -hmm. to the government's Just station. say what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they look for the truth. Uh -huh. yes. And you have to learn to say, hey, I'm going to give them the truth. I'm not going to put my opinion in this. I'm going to give the facts whether the government likes it or not. Yeah. Whether whoever likes it or not. But you have to give people the truth and you have to let them decide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to give facts. And I, that's, that's what I've learned. You have to have a level of responsibility that at the end of the day, what you say on TV, 7.30 in the night, which you write in the newspaper mm -hmm. for yeah. the next day. Yeah. You can cause a riot the next day if you, if, yeah, if you right, want to. Yeah, right, right. Don't, don't try to oversell a story. Yeah. Just speak the truth and let people make up their mind. Wow. Do you think a lot of that has been happening this particular season, that people have gotten the facts or gotten as much information as they possibly can so that they can make informed decisions for the upcoming election? Like, what, What's your overall feeling on the climate so for, the, for this election? Social media has become... <laughs> such a blessing and a curse for this it's election. A graveyard. It's a graveyard. It's annoying It is now. not yeah. funny because yeah. you have people, I'm sure you would see these long forwarded messages on WhatsApp and social media where people say, making things out to be news that, that really aren't. Yeah. They're not news. Yeah. They would create a statement from an MP or a cabinet minister mm -hmm. that's really not from them. And you have to, you as, a, as an educated individual, you have to decide, okay, does this sound correct? Mm -hmm. Does this not sound right, correct? Because right. it is, social media has become I wouldn't say Is the public sniper. enemy number one no, for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> it's not because it it's, has, it's, it's such a useful tool. Yeah. Right, there are yeah. pros and cons. Yeah, that, but people are just yeah. using it for the wrong reasons. Right. Okay. And then right. there are these memes. Oh, my God, the analysts. <laughs> yeah, the analysts those are the best memes. ones, though. Like, they're like, really good ones. Yeah, there's some really, really good really, really, really ones. Good. <laughs> yeah. But can you really take a meme ser seriously? This is 2017, girl. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. They're, People they're, are still sending chain messages and yeah. saying, if you don't exactly. send it, you will die. You yes. won't believe it because and they it's believe on the it. internet. Like, yes. Yes. Come on. People, people do that. Well, it's definitely been an invigorating conversation. Um, thank you for coming in and talking to us of about in journalism in general and, you know, the implications of the same. So we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Hey guys, you're watching The Stew and this is your tech tip. To all my gamers out there, Sony just announced that its PlayStation Now streaming service now includes current PS4 games. That means PS4 games will be added to the PlayStation Now catalog at no additional cost. The actual names that will be included in that catalog isn't released just yet, so stay tuned for more details. Thank you for tuning in to this week's tech tip. I'll see you guys next time.
a great way to get your Monday off to such a fabulous start with us here at The Stew. Of course, you can always catch us online. All the episodes that you've missed is there online, ILTV Studios. And we are also on Facebook, y'all. We've got our own Facebook page, The Stew Daytime. So be sure to check that out. And you can see more clips of us ladies and what we love to do best come here and entertain you each and every day thank you kyle walking for taking some time out of your incredibly busy schedule to be with us and impart some knowledge on the upcoming general elections and as always what can i say our girl chats they just getting hotter and hotter ladies <laughs> what can i say <laughs> so once again this has been the stew we loved having you. We will see you next time. <laughs>